Hi, and welcome back to another episode of the History of Fan Anime. I'm your host, William Chow, and today's episode, I'm going to continue along with the My Anime list, and I'm going to go over uh, the last little part of 1988, and, uh, you know, all getting ready to get for, for, uh, finish off 1989 as well, and um, I'm going to get ready to do uh, what I'm really, really excited to do, actually, and getting ready, ready to do is the, um, uh, basically, the, I'm going to tier list uh, all the, the the top titles for 1980s, right? So the 1980s all together. I'm going to do them all in a, in a, in a big one contiguous sort of uh, you know um, listing, going through all the different listings and stuff. But I, before I can do that, I have to finish off um, you know going through each and every single year to pull the best OVAs, the best movies, and the best TV shows. And kind of you know pre you know limit the list down and basically once they did that pull the spreadsheet again and then go through all and let's go with tier list them so those are you know, that's something exciting I'm really waiting to do and uh, but before again gotta go through the one by one and we're almost there so 1988 uh, season four okay so thank you for it again go down below request click like like and click subscribe and if you're anxious for a tier list and then well you know say it below. And uh, you know, and uh, you know, say some of your favorite titles that you like from maybe the '80s and that kind of stuff. And make sure I mention those ones while well, you know, during the listing. And I'm sure it'll be very difficult to to, to, to sort of find and t and you know rank them against each other. But that's part of the fun, right? It's just um, you know trying to see uh, what redeeming qualities some animes have and, and sort of where I'd you know in my mind where would I place them in, in, in the hierarchy of, of titles against you know again other titles in the same period of time and you know in, the, in this particular decade of the 80s and um, basically then hopefully then uh, if you haven't um, you know got uh, a, a list or uh, sort of a your sort of bucket list of things to go through in the 1980s then this will be a good opportunity for you to then you know figure out and look at some of the titles from the 80s all right so Without further delay, let's begin. Okay, so we are doing the uh, f uh, season four. So this is the uh, winter season of um, 1988. And um, well, you know, when you go through the TV series here, there is absolutely nothing that's actually worth it. There's uh, like all the TV series are pretty, uh, pretty unknown and uh, not really useful. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and just skip right over the TV series because there are none. Uh, and uh, the first thing you sort of even look at uh, going through them is there's probably some pretty good uh, shows that are going on right now. So that's probably why the you know they decided okay we're not going to release any, anything that's really big because again you, you know you got some pretty hard titles to go against uh, you know things that uh, you know, that uh, are uh, really popular at this moment and you don't want to you know sort of you know go against your best shows right so. I think they, they're probably holding it off until the next year, so probably, you know, 1989 will contain some really good titles. Alright, so, let's can just skip right ahead over all the old titles. Again, if, if you want to, you know, you know, to know and, and go over some of these ones, uh, go check out the previous episodes for um, 1987 and, of course, uh, all the previous ones for 1988. Alright? Okay, so we stream right down to the uh, OEVAs for this uh, period, and uh, there's lots of good ones right here. So here we go. Uh, right at the very beginning is the Ginga Eidensetsu, or Legend of the Galactic Heroes, the OEVA. So this is, uh, you know, so this with them still, you know, testing out the wonders for the, you know, TV series and realizing this is a, you know, I hear a pretty popular show, right? I mean, it's a, a really epic sort of, uh, you know, space opera, as it were. Um, but no, very nice uh, animation style and uh, really deep story. Like I mean, you want to talk about you know layers of military, um, you know, strategy as well as uh, you know, um, uh, you know, rankings that kind of stuff. This is really really good for that uh, thing, if you can tolerate that, of course. Um, you know, because it's not um, always action based, right? Um, so definitely, uh, so th that was one that was really, really uh, popular at that time. Uh, another one is, uh, let's see, Top and Rai Gunbusters. So this is the, um, yeah, yeah, you know, aim for the top, uh, uh Gunbusters. You know, Top and, uh, top and Rai is based off of Ace and Rai, which is the, uh, the, uh, the tennis, uh, uh, anime. And again, so again, uh, this is, uh, you know, really, not, again, not one of the really beginning um, animes that uh, sort of came out in North America at the, you know, at the start of the, the uh, 1990s, and, um, and uh, you know, really sort of set off, uh, you know, how anime started on that, 
very, very, you know, uh, uh, you know, a nice sort of take, and and you know, the, real, the realism about how you know how uh, you know near um, speed of light travel and that kind of stuff works is really kind of cool. On that, um, I'll, I'll mention more about that extra little snippet of the series that they they, they, they released afterwards as well. Uh, that uh, I'll add on there. Okay, and moving onwards, uh, another uh, really big title, Bubblegum Crisis. So you know, m- uh, more episodes uh, to really uh, came out this uh, section for that particular long series. Again, one of the key series that came out at the end of the eighties, which is really nice, really nice. Okay, and going to the next line there, we got uh, American uh, Tension uh, Shinjuku or Demon City Shinjuku. Uh, another one of those great series that sort of again came out, you know, because right now we're at that series at the time where we all this weird stuff coming out, you know, Wicked City and Demon City and Juku, and we had all these other ones like, you know, Digital Devil Story and all this other kind of stuff. And so it's all this really weird kind of stuff coming out, but it ended up really well animated and, um, you know, just, just pushing the edge, you know, towards, uh, you know, the, 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 you know, the, just on that, uh, the line of smut to see if they can, you know, see what they can get away with in terms of the gore and that kind of stuff. So, that was really, that was really popular again. Uh, a lot of people, you know, like that sort of title. As again, that also came out really, really early uh, on the North American side as well. Um, let's see what else we got here. Next one is Crying Free Man. So yeah, this is a no, those uh, you know, it really it was really popular as a manga, right? And uh, then yeah, they released it as an anime. You know, very, very well, you know, again, very well drawn. This one, and again, um, the anime was really, you know. Again, trying to push that border against, uh, you know, nudity and that kind of stuff. So, uh, you know, that was really... See, that's, you can tell that a lot of the animes are just sort of kind of doing that, right? Giving that, them that, that edginess. But at the same time, that's probably also what was giving them a lot of really bad name, too. Because, you know, people were saying, well, you're watching anime because of all the hentai. Well, you know, these tiles are basically what, you know, the, the really high contributors to that, right? Um, yeah, look at the next tile, right? Violence Jack, of course, you know. Again, another one of those kind of, you know, kind of, you know, mix a little bit of, you know, supernatural horror and, of course, you know, throw in a little bit of skin just to, you know, top it off. And there we go. There you got the, you know, some really uh, cool thing like that. So that's, um, you know, um, I don't think it was as good as uh, some of the other you know, tiles, like, you know, like Wicked City or, 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 uh, uh, Demon City Shinjuku, but you know, de- definitely it's in that same sort of line. Um, I th- I'm, the other one I'm thinking is uh, is uh, you know, part of the uh, Pink Noise uh, uh, thing, uh, you know, a category that uh, came out also recently as well. Okay, and skipping on to the next line here, we have um, uh, uh, Metal Link, uh, metal, or, or um, you know, Metal Armor, uh, Metal Link. And so again, this is you know, sort of a side story for the uh, Armor Trooper Votum's uh, franchise. And again, so for all those people, and I always tell people, you know, you know, sure, if you can't, you know, handle the artwork or the sort of the long story that uh, um, you know Votum's uh, was, um, then I maybe you know make a suggestion. Well, okay, if you're gonna watch something, then watch you know Votum's Red Shoulder, and uh, you know, as a Votum's title, then, then you're good for that. If you want to, you know, uh, get a little bit more, but like, no, don't want to get into the volume story, what? Then what I recommend is Metal Link, which is a, you know, a nice short sort of six uh, episode OVA series, which kind of happens in the volumes universe, and and you know, that is really good in its own, um, just by itself, was just you know, a really nice con- uh, condensed sort of thing, which is really really, you know, I, well, I thought it was really very very good. You know. Okay, and the next one on the list here is. Uh, Ucho no Senshini, which is it's essentially it's the Japanese animated version of uh, Robert E. Heinlein's uh, Starship Troopers, and this is really a coffee spike because I like I knew it existed and I, and I ordered the laser discs for it, um, but as a long term project, I never actually really got around to actually, um, you know, doing the subtitles and that kind of stuff for it, um, just because you know, no one really wanted to translate it and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I thought it was a, I mean, there are a few differences, like, you know, for example, the interpretation of how they drew the worms, for example. I mean, to me, they, they seem more like the worms from, like, Dune or something, rather than actual, you know, you know, things. And then, of course, the later version of, like, let's say, the CG animated version of Starship Troopers portrayed the, the, the things was more like ants, I guess you'd say, right? So, um... But no, it's, uh, this is a nice, a pretty neat, uh, like an animated interpretation of it. It's pretty, uh, pretty good. Character design, of course, is a little bit sketchy, but again, that's you know, it's, it's, it's that style, 
uh, that, that, that is done in there. But definitely, it was, I thought the story worked out really well. Uh, you know, remember, this is also the time where a lot of these sort of things are all kind of, you know, getting... Um, a lot of the ideas were coming from North American science fiction. Uh, you know, the whole concept of, like, you know, um, you know, Robot Carnival, you know, working off the principles of um, Isaac Asimov's I, Robot. Of course, they, they made a... Um, um, you know, the Lensman from E. Doc Smith. So, you know, a lot of these similar to that, you know, 2001 A Space Odyssey, you know, things like that, all were all coming out at this time, right? So, you know, this is, you know, why not? I remember Starship Troopers being a you know, really, cool, really cool book. Um, so, you know, uh, you know, why not make an anime for it? And it was actually really pretty neat. Okay. I'm glad that, uh, you know, later on that the, uh, a fan sub of it was actually made. Um, and the last one on the list here is uh, Moho Project uh, Zerarimer, or they, they, you know, they, they translated it to Hades Project Zerarimer. And now this was a pretty cool show because I said like this literally had, you know, that, you know, X01 and, and sort of like Borgman like kind of, you know, mixture of, of, of both the uh, animation and, and character design. It was really quite well done for that thing, you know, because, you know, I like you know, that style of, uh, of animation and that kind of stuff. So again, um, you know, a, a neat one to check out uh, if you're inter in, you know interested in that uh, you know mixer one, um, or even like a Borgman uh, type of uh, you know, artwork because because it, it is that um, that artist. All right, so we just uh, zoom ahead a little bit here uh, to the next um, um, line here, and uh, get the next videos here. So uh, the next one online is One Pound Gospel. So Rumiko Takahashi. Uh, takes another um, new AVA, so this is you know sort of the you know because she just she, you know she's doing Maze of Kaku, she's doing Urusei Atsura, and then you know she did all those uh, Rumic Worlds and that kind of stuff. So really, she's really on the hot uh, 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 streak right here. So uh, you know boxing sort of an anime there. Um, she also released, uh, releases the Maze of Kaku um, sort of uh, you know uh, OVA. Uh, again, we you know we did the subtitles for this one again off of tape. If I remember the first time we did it, um, was really uh, you know a big thing for that. So um, that was a really popular uh, edition that we uh, the, um, you know the later on did the fast sub four, so that was really good. And then of course the last one here is uh, Golf Force Three Stardust War. So this is the final conclusion to the um, first series of Golf Force. Uh, the uh, you know this the third installment of that particular series, which will end it again. And, and I think, still, I think I like that one probably the the most out of all the all, of all three. Of the um, you know all all the very different renditions of Golf Force. You know, Golf Force, Raya, Earth Chapter, and all that stuff. But I think um, you know this one is probably you know, I think like the nicest one. So again, um, you well, know, last part of that. So again, you know, you know more of this Kinshi Snowdo, right? So that you know he's uh, you know been very very popular at this particular time. Okay, so we continue on the next line here. And oh, yeah, this is a very funny one. I love this one. Um, we got Carl Vinson, Space Family Carl Vinson. So this is a really, uh, okay, this is, I'd have to put this one on the same category as uh, the Ultra, uh, the uh, Perfectual Earth Defense Forces. One of those hidden little gem, super funny animes that like virtually nobody has ever heard of, okay? <clears throat> Um, this uh, is, a, is a really nice story. It's basically about a, a child who gets uh, you know, abandoned on this planet. And then basically all the inhabitants of the planet um, basically find a way to just basically you know raise the child, and you know some humorous characters you know you know, quite lo you know lovable furball ends up being the mother, and this uh, giant sort of mecha uh, you know robot guy kind of thing is you know ends up being the uh, the, the, the father, and it's just you know. Uh, you know, and, and the story goes on, and just, uh, of all the different things, um, how the you know that the happen when they're raising you know this kid uh, who they've named Kolina. Um, so this is yeah, you know, pretty good, uh, great short and you know kind of laughable story, um, uh, you know of uh, the you know, this, this sort of misfitted family as it were, um, as they try to raise this child. Um, okay, next one is Ryu Senki. Uh, or as, they, as I never knew it as, as that word. I, I don't, I'd always remembered it as Dragon Century, and so this is really exciting because this is sort of, you know, we're in that sort of era of, you know, where Dungeons and Dragons was really a popular thing. So now, now this is, you know, this sort of bridges the gap between, you know, modern day and and, and, and like you know the, the the realm of the dragons, and we're in this, you know in this sort of you know conflict between. You know, I guess modern day 
you know humans and like you know the the race of dragons right so it's kind of you know it's it was really exciting at this time you know the, 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 the such a thing that came out and i know we did the fan sub for it and it was really um, you know another one of those really good sort of things that, that we you know we, we did that was uh, an all ball. You know, I guess a lot of those things we did. You know, that I had Carl Vinson. Um, you know, that, that's another one that we, that uh, Daisuke just absolutely loved, right? Especially the, you know, the the the, the Atosan. It's, just, it's like, Corona! Yeah. yeah. Um, and the last hell of this list is uh, UCO. Again, they, they translate this to Fairy King, and, and even under that name, I don't remember anything about this particular title. So again, this was, um, you know, I guess the you know the, uh, you know, the, the fancy sort of art style and that kind of stuff just just never really transpired into onto the anime, and just was just, was just wasn't very well distributed or very very popular in that in that for that respect. Okay, and then move on to the last of the OVAs here, and um, then we get to, to the last bit here. And uh, what we got here? We got, um, well, basically, three titles I've really never heard of. Even, and, and that's surprising because, like, usually I was actually keeping track of, like, you know, like, um, you know, motorbike kind of animes and that kind of stuff because just because just I have so many friends at that time with that, that were, um, you know, performance motorcycle type people. And, um, yeah, so even though I kept up with things like Bari Bari and, and uh, Circuit Angel and things like that, but, like, this one, you know, Casino and Nuke, uh, like, never heard of that one. And these other ones just, you know, just totally uh, insignificant. So, um, yeah, so that, that ends, up, ends the OEVAs, and now we can go on to the movies now. All right, okay, that finished up all the OEVAs, and now we see we head to the movies. Now, the movies are going to be pretty simple because actually there's not that many movies either, okay? Um, but right off the right pit is the Orange Road, Anohine uh, uh, Kurai. Which is essentially the um, you know the last ending movie. I wish we well, wish to, to I could return to that date again. Um, but yeah, the movie was a uh, you know for a lot of us you know we knew this was sort of you know the, the gonna need you know the necessary ending. Uh, we knew that you know the, the, that resolution of the love triangle had to continue. So you know we were kind of waiting for this, but at the same time we knew that this is gonna be the end of the series. So. Um, you know, <laughs> one bit of the ending. But again, we you know, I enjoyed watching the series and just, you know, uh, I remember doing the subtitles for this when we spent uh, quite a bit of time to, to get the time on that one. And again, long awaited for the fans of the Orange Order there. And the second one on here is the um, Haruki Raiki Ro. It's another one of these, um, you know, done by the guy who does Touch and Miyuki and all these other, you know, normally baseball love stories, but now this is another kind of a, uh, you know, another romance sort of show. Again, very few people even paid attention to this one, and, and I knew it was just because, you know, because I'm familiar with the guy's artwork and that kind of stuff, but again, I never even cared about his stories and that kind of stuff either, so uh, that was, you know, that just, just never really caught on, uh, you know, that particular thing, and no one ever translated it either, so. And the last two... Uh, are not saying it's again uh, not uh, not not popular enough and not enough distribution of them to to uh, you know to, to to make any mark on that. Okay, so that basically runs up all the movies. Okay, and so the last little part is uh, sort of like the you know the TV specials or whatever. And there's only one that that any significance here. It's the first one at the top of their eye. Uh, uh, a little candid camera, okay? And basically what this is, is sort of like the super deformed um, sort of mini episodes for gun busters, okay? Now, you know, normally for us, you know, we would associate these ones with, with, with sort of like the, you know, those little clips that they put at the end of the episode. But again, what they did in Japan is that they actually aired them, um, you know, as a separate thing, right? Um, you know, not so much so much attached to the actual series. But like a, like like an extra little, you know, sub men, uh, sub venue type of thing. Uh, so they listed it separately in the uh, in the listings, okay. And all it is is basically, um, it's all the the liner notes and the little things you need to know um, about the show, okay. Now, for example, something like uh, the anime Slam Dunk, right? When they needed to talk and put reference to, let's say, who Dr. J is and all that kind of stuff, you know, and I have to make references to, you know, what the granny throw is from, uh, you know, from, from examples from the NBA, they actually stop the episode, they kind of, you know, put it aside between, you know, the, the professor, you know, the little the coach would bring, uh, bring this blackboard out and, and then they, he would display, explain, um, you know, some points from the NBA, um, you know, what that pertains to the basketball, right? 
but they did that inside the show so what gunbusters did is they they let the oeva run fully on its own and then they basically um made this sort of uh, mini gunbusters sort of super deformed gunbusters um a, a sort of extra uh, as a separate episode okay and then in, in, in these episodes they talk about things that uh you know that sort of may not make sense to the viewer for example they have to talk about who who albert einstein is um the concept of um you know the, the closer you travel to the speed of light um you know the, how time will dilate and that kind of stuff because you know that, that's very important when you get to you know gunbuster episode three you know what the hell what the hell happened there so they need to kind of explain all that and so what they do is they do that in a separate episode now when they've translated it over here they put this thing at the end of the episode uh or the oeva so that they could so it kind of ties it together um so just you know just a note that that's, you know that's what they did there but other than that yeah that pretty much finishes um uh, all the things for 1989 season uh or sorry 1988 um season four all right so again you know just like everything else i'm going to give you my best uh, selections for this uh, uh season and it's actually pretty easy because obviously there are no TV series, so I'd, uh, uh, there's nothing to recommend on that one. There is only one movie, and that would be the Orange Road um, you know, ending movie. So you know that's the only one movie that you need to worry about in this uh, um, particular season. But uh, the OVAs, there's lots of OVAs out of this uh, um, this uh, particular quarter, so I'll just kind of go through them. Um, basically, your surefire set of choices. I'll give you six. Um, are going to be definitely going to be things like. Um, Gunbusters, obviously, you know that's a very, very, you know, a very significant um, uh, anime. You know, one of the one the first ones that we got uh, transported over here from North for North American consumption. So definitely one, um, uh, a definitely good choice there. Uh, same, uh, likewise, the Bubble Crisis, the ongoing OVA series, which is you know constantly releasing episodes, and this is like you know grounds cutting uh, type of uh, animation and that kind of stuff. Again, one of the very first releases from Anime Ego. Um, now we get into some other uh, hotels that there are, are um, uh, you know, that also started our industry over here. Uh, Demon City Shinjuku and Crying Freeman. So again, uh, you know, the, the, the they're pushing that uh, you know basically the, the, the limit on basically uh, how much skin can we show, how much uh, you know uh, lower action can we show that kind of stuff. That's what that was what they were trying to portray there. So uh, definitely good. Um, Pro uh, Hades Project Zero Rhymer, uh, again a nice short OVA series. You know, you know, in the same flavor as that, you know, that that extra one feel. Um, again, uh, you know, working off of the same kind of uh, you know artists and productions and uh, squads uh, uh, from that one. And the last one, of course, is Golf Force Three, which is you know the final conclusion to the uh, Golf Force series. So you can see there's you know so quite a lot of dominance uh, from uh, you know. Um, uh, uh, Kenichi Sonoda here, uh, and uh, you know, so he's very, very popular, uh, in, in all the stuff that he's releasing with the things like Bubble Bone Crisis and, of course, Golf Force. Now, um, now these are all the, 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 the top six that, that I've, I've already picked out here. Uh, I want to make an honorable mention for the for the other three. The other. So, again, on this one, these ones, you know, I don't think obviously are as, um, uh, important or as famous as the, you know the top six that I, that I wrote here, but because you know I, you know I did a lot of the work and stuff on these particular ones, um, I think they're of you know any particular note because well, obviously that's why I bought the laser discs for them, and um you know, and when uh, Arctic Animation did do the fan subs for them, so that's sort of like you know why I kind of um, you know sort of got, had interest to them, and of course I, you know, I wanted to know what what these ones were about. And these ones just seemed to fall in between that little gap where people just kind of you know don't uh, it's like it's not you know a big enough topic or you know big enough popularity that, that the people kind of you know went and kind of missed over them so um, i'm just going to mention them uh, of course uh you know i'm, 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 I'm you know a big fan of uh, mellow link and you know just because is it I, I felt um you know it had slight better animation quality than than just standard you know armor trooper votums it had now definitely had a more interesting story and it's a little shorter, so it, it got rid of some of the excess, you know, the excess, shall we say, and concentrated on more and just just this the little scope of the story here. So I thought that was really good. Um, so again, just for again for those people who just 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 couldn't swallow the the Vodum story, maybe give them a link a try. Um, as I mentioned, uh, Space Family Carl Vinson, 
just and again it's, it's another one of those hidden gems just like red riding hood cha-cha and that kind of stuff it's just really um you know a really you know funny little story with a little bit of you know you know you know sort of that that, 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 that family sort of um you know story to it which was really really nice and uh you know it's, it's a good all-around sort of OVA. that was really that was really nice and the last one of course is, is uh dragon century again you know the character design and, and the whole kind of concept about dragons and that kind of stuff was just really really interesting on how that uh how that was handled again so so i don't think you know, that these three are as good as you know obviously the top six but i mean these are definitely good honorable mentions that you know at least if you're asking for personal um, recommendations and that kind of stuff uh, i'll give you these three all right so that's another year done 1988 is now in the uh, record books and uh, we'll get ready to do 1989 and then i'll have to go ahead and go backwards and do 1980 just to make the the, the the numbers complete so that i can do 1980 to 1989 so the 80s in general uh and then we'll get that so do stay tuned i will get to those episodes very soon all right so until next time of course see you again